Hey YouTube, today I'm just going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to optimize your Optifine settings. There are many different videos on how to download Optifine and I'll link one to you um, in the description. But this one will show you how to make it so that it actually works. Many, peop many of the um, computers I've played on have really bad FPS problems and so it's hard, it makes the game almost unplayable. But the setup I've got has given me 60 to 70 FPS on by myself and recording I get 20, 20 to 30, which is pretty good because I'm using fraps. Now, there are a whole load of options and these are, this is basically what you have to do. The graphics has to be set on fast. Now, my computer can handle fancy, but it just changes the textures of the leaves and causes unnecessary rendering. So, fast is the best option. Uh, smooth lighting. That, I don't, I don't really think it needs to be on. It just makes it slower, so you can keep it off. Render distance is very important. As you'll see, even my computer can't handle extreme and that's because it's just rendering and just showing so many blocks that it just that the computer just can't take it so i normally play on normal because that's i don't i don't really find that you need anything larger than that some people need it on far to play um example they like it on far or they like really showcasing something um it kind of drops FPS when I'm recording, but on on single player by myself, it doesn't really matter. So, but normal to short is what you should be putting it on, because that optimizes the performance. Now, this performance here must be set to max FPS. Just keep it on ma max FPS. View bobbing. This is optional. This is purely preference. I, I, I like to keep it off. 3D Analglyph, well, that makes that makes your computer lag, and it's kind of useless unless you have 3D glasses. Now you'll see, unless you want to play like this, and it does make your computer lag a little bit. The next thing is um, Advanced Open GL. This, while well, I wait for it to load, this um, depends on your graphics card. Mine can some if you don't have any graphics card then keep it off because just no. If you have a graphics card and it's all right, it's kind of how you going, then put it on fast. It's the fastest rendering and it's ju it's just the most opt optimal setting for performance. Brightness does increase FPS lag, uh, s but it, it doesn't affect my computer, but it may affect yours, so you might want to keep it on moody. Chunk loading, leave that on default. Fog, especially, leave it off. Because fog, rend when it's rendered, it does take up a lot of, um, take up a lot of the um, processing. So it will slow down your computer. Okay. The fog start, keep it on 0 0.4. Because if you do have fog on, it will and you put it on 0 0.8, it will render the fog as far as it possibly can. So, and that will cause, that will cause FPS lag. Now into the details. Keep clouds off. Well, they, yeah, it does, it does affect FPS. And, but for me it's a preference just to keep it off. Trees, water and grass, keep them on fast. Snow, rain and snow off. Stars off. The capes. I don't know. I don't. It don't. I don't think it um, affects FPS, and it's just preference there. Sun and moon is preference. Um, sky, that does affect FPS marginally, but it still does. Depth fog, keep that off. Animations. This here is the main cause of um, FPS lag. These these are water water animations and smoke anim animations, explosion animations, it all counts towards the feel of the game to make it more realistic. And as you can see here, I've turned them all off. So, 
Fire no longer moves. N neither does the water or the or the lava. Redstone, the smoke, s the smoke red particles they don't come out, and neither does that happen on the redstone torch. For some reason, I'm not quite sure. Um, the portal, I don't, I'm not sure. I don't. Those aren't moving. I'm pretty sure, but the actual portal. Uh, particles still move, and I'm that's that's a bit weird. Now, um, the next part is oh well the main the main thing that causes lag is terrain animated. I found that when I switched this off, it increased by about tw my my FPS increased by about twenty. It really really did help turning this off. Um, keep items animated on. Particles to decreased and textures animated on. I I think I don't know. I think you can turn it off. It's just preference that one is. Um, so this is basically what you have to have it set at. Now, quality. Minimap level off. Keep that off. Minimap uh, mip map level. Sorry, mip map type nearest. Anti aliasing off random mobs off just basically keep it how it is now uh, swamp colors that also really did affect my FPS and when I turned it off it uh, really helped so you might want to turn that off clear water and better grass it just depends on how good your computer is if, if you're really struggling to get good FPS then you might want to turn those off but if your computer if you think your computer can handle it then uh, it's better to try and keep that and try and run it if, if you think it helps now random, all random mobs does is just keep random mob um, costumes uh, costumes sorry skins now one thing I did want to sh want to show was that the when you turn the animations on, they uh, it, you can you can see that it does move, and I might I might actually show that at the end of the um, video. Hmm. Okay, and lastly, performance. Uh, load far, keep that off. That that affects your FPS. If you if you have that, um, if you have that on, then it just loads the furthest chunks, and loads chunks to the far render distance, and so it's as if you've got far um, your render distance up to far anyway. So it does affect FPS. Uh, chunk updates per frame, keep that on one. Dy dynamic updates off, preloaded chunks off, and smooth input off. That's basically what you have to get to keep it. Um, to keep it at a good, at a good FPS level. Fast debug info. Keep that off. Weather that that does um, cause your computer to lag when a storm or something happens. So turn that off. Auto save. This will constantly auto save the auto save the map. So and it does. It really it does affect FPS. So keep it on 30 which will improve your FPS um, however this does uh, not save it ev until every 30 minutes and so you may lose um, world data if something goes wrong and the process ends or something like that and it closes your minecraft um, full screen yeah just leave it that, that's fine server textures keep that on that's basically everything that you need to keep it to keep a good FPS rate, and yeah, that should that should hold your FPS rate from 40 to above, or it does for mine at least. Okay, this is just um, what everything looks like with all the animations on. So you can see the smoke rising out of the flames. The flames are actually moving. So is the water and the lava. They're flowing. Um, that's the particles out of the redstone and same thing happens comes out of the redstone torch 
the actual portal moves and almost yeah smoke like particles come out of the end portal um, also you can see down here that and I, I forgot to show this but um, it actually drips and I don't know you I think you can turn this on and it won't um, affect FPS that much unless you're underneath a huge lava huge lava um, I don't know, puddle wouldn't be a puddle but anyway and you have all this wa uh, water or lava dripping from the ceiling I don't think other than that I don't think it would um, hurt that much but basically that's it also there's the there's the TNT which wouldn't you wouldn't see the explosion usually but you do here and the rain as well the rain doesn't appear when it's when the weather is turned off but it does when it's obviously turned off okay that's th I think that's about it thanks guys thanks for watching and don't forget to rate comment like and subscribe thank you